In 1998, many people bought tickets to the Brad Pitt film Meet Joe Black. Handfuls of people walked out of the cinemas across America before the film even began. Why? I'll give you that one more time. In 1998, many people bought tickets to the Brad Pitt film Meet Joe Black. Handfuls of people walked out of cinemas across the USA before the film even began. Why? Now, as a nerd... Ah! Who was alive and of movie going age <laughs> oh. in the, in were, the late were you 90s? There? Did you walk out? I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm going to opt out. I'm opting out for a little while. So you get the option to be smug here. If you think you've got this immediately, bank that answer. If you've got pen and paper or something, yeah. write it down. We're going to go to Bill and Danny. 1998. Many people walked out of Meet Joe Black before the film even started. Any ideas why? Okay, my first issue is I need somebody to correct me because all I have in my head is the movie what I think Mighty Joe Young about a <laughs> gorilla. So I'm just picturing. Oh, that's do they why. All, do they all walk in and be like, there's no mixer. gorillas in this picture? And they knew before it had even started. They sat down and they turned to someone and they said, I'm really excited for the gorilla in this picture. Uh, this is that's not the that's not the right movie. I mean, and they just get to the end and like like man, Brad Pitt was unrecognizable. Just, just could not see him at all. Like the makeup job was incredible. He really. So which, so which one is Meet Joe Black? That's the one where he is. Is he? The, he's death. Death or the devil? Where something he, like that. Where he talks patois. And... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That okay, one. okay. Okay. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the board now. I understand. Now the last story that I heard about people needing to walk out of a movie was because it was a kids' movie, like it was Minions or something like that, and they accidentally started playing Hereditary. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's not yes. good. Oh. Yes, and uh, I think there's something about the movie, it either starts incredibly scary and violently or starts in such a way that you're not actually sure what movie it is and it could have plausibly been the kids' movie until... Given Minions is CG animated, I assume it just started with something horrible and violent and... That would make sense. Haven't seen either, couldn't tell you. But <laughs> wow. Is there any chance that happened? They started playing A Bug's Life. But it, but it is interesting because it's before it even started. Yeah. So something that happened in... What happened the, in the credits? Was there, tra- was there trailers for a movie that was going to come out in 1998 that was really like, oh, if that movie's going to come out, I better leave the theatre. You know what it was? They played the trailer for Meet Joe Black and people went, oh, I don't need to see it now. <laughs> the, they went through the whole plot. The cinema in the town I, I grew up in occasionally would do that. They would play the trailer <laughs> for the movie you're about to see. No, I, Because I assume they Terrible. just had one reel of trailers they put on before, and it would have been a physical reel. I assume they just put the mm. same reel on for everything. Like, if you were if you were four yeah. or five weeks late to see in a movie, you you just get a trailer for that movie. Terrible. That's amazing. I think you. I thought you meant they played just the trailer for that movie, as in like <laughs> just to get you ready. Let's Everybody. warm you up. You are extremely close to the answer, and I no. suspect Matt, uh, you might be able to identify what that film was. Uh, I think I can. Yeah. Um, so this is back, back, way back before there were multiple Star Wars films. There were just the mere three of the original trilogy and then lurking in the shadows yeah, it was the Phantom Menace. and People got very excited. Yep. And they were it, so it, excited that they ran out. It's hard to articulate. What? For my generation who were too late to have seen the originals in the cinema, they were like these artifacts, like th- these things that have just always existed, always had existed, always will exist. And then the notion of there being a new Star Wars film was just off the charts Mm. and people wanted any information. And this is, you could download the trailer online, but it was, it was a difficult thing (laughs) to get and it was terrible res and will take all night over dial up. So to see the trailer. I, I I remember downloading that trailer. Yeah, absolutely. Because exactly, yeah, I remember music like oh. Duel, Duel of the Fates is still stuck in my head because I must have watched that. A lot. I wasn't even particularly into Star Wars, but I knew that this was a thing. This was a thing. This was a big thing. And then people knew which films were going to have the trailer before them. So you'd buy a ticket just to go and see the trailer for Star Wars. Oh, so they went yeah. to the movie just for the trailer. That's fantastic. They had bought the ticket for Meet Joe Black just to watch the trailer. And then they were not interested in the film. So they left. They had seen the trailer on the big screen. That was all they needed. That's fantastic. I mean, this was also way back when movies were released on massively different dates, months or years apart in different (laughs) territories. 
Like Europe would regularly get movies months and months and months after. Uh, and The Phantom Menace was the first movie to get really properly pirated. Like if you had mm. a if you were a Star Wars fan and you had a university grade internet connection in you know ninety nine whenever it came out, like you Enjoy, were getting yeah. a low res grainy postcard copy of it because that was the first big movie to get pirated like that. Now you say back in the days when movies had different release dates, um, we st- this is very much still the case here. <laughs> yeah, and also why Australia are the biggest internet pirates? Has the NBN rolled out yet, or? Uh- <laughs> oh yeah, it's out. It's out. Works great. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Thirty upload. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. And Matt, you you get the right to be smug there because you got it very early on. Twentieth Century Fox attached the trailer for Star Wars: The Phantom Menace to Meet Joe Black, so you had to buy a ticket if you wanted to see the trailer on the big screen. And so the Star Wars fans in the audience just got up and left. <laughs> and the important thing is, it lived up to the hype, and everyone was very happy. Fifty-two percent fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I I was eight. It was perfect. Yeah.